From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Well, nice weather today, but uh, guys, it's it's still February, yeah. right? Well, yeah. we saw we saw Jordan in a jacket right there, and you know earlier yeah. today that wasn't the case. It was warm, no and then yeah, what time was it that, that cold front came yeah. through the metro? It was about five o'clock, yeah. and uh, Jordan before that shot had a tank top on. We had to force <laughs> him to put a jacket on. Of course, being from Wisconsin, no big deal. No big deal. Uh, it's going to get colder tonight. It's already moving in. The Arctic air running from just south of Oklahoma City. From there, it goes to the Arctic Circle. It is 8 in Lamar, Colorado. Denver's at 3 below. 1 in North Platte, 15 in Great Bend, 25 in Wichita. And everybody in the Northern Plains right now below zero. So we're not going to get that cold, but it's going to get cold. Today, we had 70s, except for the Northwest and the Panhandle. Tomorrow and your Friday, yep, we are in it. And it's going to hang around. It's two solid days of cold air. Right now in Oklahoma City from our downtown cam, part of our Lucky Star Skycam Network, a north wind at 13, making it feel like 35 degrees. Wind chills in the morning, not a whole lot of wind, but enough of a wind in the morning. Wind chills will be in the teens and 20s. The Arctic front is moving south. You could run faster than this front is moving. It's 56 in Purcell. It's 42 in Oklahoma City. It's 31 in Watonga, 35 in Kingfisher. This front's moving south at about 10 miles an hour. We have 20s in the northwest. Look at the teens in the panhandle. At the same time, Ardmore is at 61 degrees. The front runs from Purcell down to just south of Chickasha, down to just north of Altus. Behind it, the Arctic air is moving. It's thick. It's like molasses, and it's kind of running downhill. And once it starts, it just keeps oozing, right? Wind chills, 10 in Guyman right now, 11 in Woodward, 35. Again, in Oklahoma City, not bad compared to Woodward. All right, so overnight rain and storms we had are well to our east. The rain we had overnight this morning, it was good for mainly along and east of I-35, but here comes the cold. And look at all the energy swinging in out west. So much snow, so much rain, and a lot of wind. And our next storm is coming out of this, by the way, California, they're getting hammered again. They're back in that hammer mode, nonstop wind, rain, and snow. Everybody out west is just getting blitzed right now. This is going to be your Sunday storm system and that threat of severe weather. So let's track it. Here it comes. Rise down the west coast. See the lines here? Those are lines of equal pressure in the atmosphere. What does that mean? Strong jet stream winds begin to crank up slowly as we get into your Friday, into your weekend. We're going to have a chance for maybe some showers and a few thunderstorms on Saturday. No severe weather Saturday. And then Sunday, watch this bowling ball come right down I-40 and it comes swinging through. It's what we call negatively tilted. It runs from a positive tilt or a neutral tilt straight up and down to a negative tilt. And anytime you get that going on with the strong jet, a little bit of moisture, instability, you're going to get storms and you're going to get severe weather. That'll move by. There'll be another storm in here for the end of next week. But that second storm, right now, the track would give us more of a cold rain versus severe weather. But that can certainly change. So the ways down the road. All right, so it's all about Sunday. Dry line will set up into far western Oklahoma. Thunderstorms will develop in the eastern Texas panhandle. They're going to rocket northeast Sunday evening at about 60 miles per hour, producing large hail, damaging winds with this line. It's a fast mover. But it looks to be right now like even western Oklahoma will see rain out of this. Hopefully this will stay the same. And right now we have a low to a moderate threat. That's a level two in our threat level from one to three. It's a level two. Just means we're going to have more numerous severe storms in here, including large hail, damaging wind, 70, 80 miles per hour. And there will be a tornado threat as these storms come into western Oklahoma. Low level jets going to crank up. And that low-level jet, about five to 7,000 feet up, is going to be what we call backed or a little bit turned to the southeast. What I'm telling you is we're going to have rotating thunderstorms coming up Sunday evening. Now, put all that together. How much rain? Not as much in the west. As you move east, the storms are going to expand, so rain amounts will be heavier the farther east you get. All right, lows tonight. Arctic air, teens and 20s. Wind chills will be in the single digits and the teens. It'll be a cold night, 25 in Oklahoma City. I've lowered these temperatures. Tomorrow, 30s and 40s, a cold day, but we're going to have some sunshine. Friday, highs in the 40s. The clouds rolled in on Friday. Friday might have some clouds. I think we will have clouds, maybe some showers, maybe some sprinkles. Overall, not a whole lot of moisture. There might be a few patches of drizzle, nothing too crazy. And then Saturday, highs back up in the 50s. First little wave of energy comes out. That'll give us a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. 
but no severe weather, but still not the best, not the best. We've had some great weekends. This is not going to be a great weekend. 70 for high on Sunday, 80% chance for late afternoon showers and storms, but really going to a 100% chance Sunday evening. When you get up Monday morning, it is all over with next week. We're going to keep it mild. And then the end of next week, here comes that second storm spring. Yep, it's coming. Sports is next.